Good morning, students. This is Dr. N. Sirisha, Associate Professor from CSC Department, MLR Institute of Technology. In the previous session, we have seen what is Angular JS and what is the framework, how framework should be downloaded for to use Angular JS, and also one sample example of the application of Angular JS. So, in this session, we will see what is Angular JS filters. Angular JS filters. What is an Angular JS filter? and uh, different angular js filters we have so many filters like currency filter date filter 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 is also a filter so these sort of filters there are many filters in this session i am talking about only currency date and filter filter and what exactly the filter also we'll see moving further this is a what is an angular js filter uh, it provides the filters to transform the data okay Suppose whatever the information you are giving that you need to give the information in other way then you can use these filters like for suppose what are the filters that we are going to use currency filter. So, uh, I am just giving a number but what type of number it is a currency uh, we are talking about a currency number. So, whatever the filters we use it displays the in those formats yet it is transforming the content into that pattern. Filters can be added in AngularJS to format the data to display on UI to format the data. Particular format should be given. Suppose if I just wanted to print uh, say 12th December 2023. This I just do not want to print like that. I wanted to print like this only. Or I wanted to print only two digits. So, what I am doing, I am changing the format. So, this is in the DD, MM, YY, YY format. Okay. So, like this, this is the again string. So, like that, it will, uh, these filters are used to format the data and display on UI without changing the original format. Original format will be like that only. But what is the format that you required in that format, you can display using these filters. Filters can be added to an expression or directives using the pipe symbol. So, pipe uh, where we use is just to, to defer, okay, and enumerator list, we will use that, right. So, just to defer one value from the other, we are using pipe here. So, the syntax for writing the filters is where we have to add the expression and also these directives also can be done. So, here these are divided, separated by the filter, I mean pipe symbol and these both are given in between what? Double braces. This is the logic where we have to write the filters. Okay. So, double brace, you will write the expression and separate that with the filter name. Suppose my filter name is currency, I will just write currency and the following parameters can be given. Okay. So, different AngularJS filters, uh, we have currency filter. Currency filter means currency format or a number to a currency format. Suppose if you are giving a mm, like 23. What is this 23 we are talking about? Is it just a number? Is it a dollar? Is it INR? Okay. So, like that we have to see INR 23. Like that we have to change the format. Okay. And date format to a specific format. As I told you, suppose if I just want 12th DEC 23 or 12th 12, 12, 2023. So, like this, this particular formats will, will be assigned using the date format. This is the second filter. Third one filter, that means filter filter. That is a select a subset of items from an array. Then you have a multiple arrays, okay. It will take only a part of array, subset of items from an array. That is a filter, okay. Suppose if you wanted to filter uh, uh, those who got... Uh, highest attendance, highest percentage of attendance or those who got lesser percentage of attendance than 20 if you wanted to filter. So, like just like how we use filters in the Excel, so we are using filter filters in the AngularJS. Similarly, JSON format or uh, like JavaScript object. So, that format can be changed using uh, to a JSON string and limit to limits. So, if that is a limit to limit is an array string into a specified number of elements or characters. Okay. Whenever you some threshold has to be assigned, that many strings only you want, that many characters only you want, that limitation can be done. Then lowercase format, lowercase as you know, uppercase and lowercase. So, 
lower case format you can get it if i am giving mlr it so you just wanted to print mlr it so this can be done using this filter number format format a number to a string so number filter it can be used to format the number into a string so these are the different angular js filters that we have so in this session we are going to do uh, we are going to see currency and date so before moving to how to know how to use these uh, filters in the program i am going to give you what are the basics of the module what is a module and what are its basics so angular module is a fundamental organizational unit used to structure and manage your applications code okay if you wanted to provide some structure and manage it then you have to divide them into different modules how to give a module how to give or assign a module so where okay app we are dividing an entire module into and putting storing that into app here okay angular dot module we are talking about angular js but modules so module is a function we are using with the two parameters so first parameter will take a name of the module second one will be the array set of arrays you have to take so what does this module name will do it represents the name of the modules angular module suppose if you have 10 modules if you wanted to talk about first module i can name it as first m something like that the name of the module you can use this name to retrieve the module later wherever you wanted to access this module this particular module that can be accessed by using this name and create other modules that depend on it so based upon that you can create the other modules and what are the, what is this square brackets is array of dependencies it's an optional array that specifies the dependencies of the module if you are defining a new module you can leave this array empty if you are defining a new module then you can leave this as empty if you are retrieving the existing module that means already the module that you have created that you wanted to reuse here then what you have to do you can include its dependencies here to reference to it so here we will give the array of dependencies otherwise it will be empty if it is a new module okay so this is how you have to create a module where where is the keyword and this is the variable that you are taking to store the modules into your uh, variable angular dot module will create a small module and with the parameters uh, name of the module and also the array of dependencies so controllers so in the previous session i told you every angular js will have three things we have we have to know three things about angular js one is a directory the other one is a controller then next one will be the expressions okay so controllers what is a controller the term app controller typically refers to the controller that associated with the main or the root module what is the main module the first and foremost module which are not having the sub modules will be the main module root module okay so that this app controller refers to the controller that is associated with this root module and this controller is responsible for handling the logic and the behavior of the entire application or a part of the application so whenever you are dividing into multiple modules how your the other modules has to be work so that is dependent on this root module so angular dot module my app my app is the name of the module and this is a empty okay that you know the, as this is a new module we are giving empty dot separate that with the dot controller you are talking about the controller so main module should have a controller this is the controller name app controller uh, and the second parameter of this will be function scope what is the function and it's a scope okay then uh, your controller logic have to be written in between the square brackets and when you close your uh, braces you have to close that with the parenthesis followed by the semicolon this is how you have to write a controller controller which is an extension to your module the name of the module and the dependency dot controller so we are talking about the controller of the main root module this is a root module what is a root module app name is a root module here so app controller is a controller name and you have to define the function and its scope and logic you have to write in between this 
braces. And the lastly, brace should be closed with a parenthesis followed by semicolon. We create a module named my app. So here is my app using angular dot module using angular dot module and we define a controller named app controller using dot controllers. This is my dot controller. What I have written in the dot controller? This controller function takes the scope as a parameter which is an object. Scope is nothing but a object used for data binding between the controller and the view. Whatever the business logic you are writing it, that has to be controlled by my app controller and this has to be, uh, the object has to be created for that using the scope in this function. Okay. So, moving to the filters. So, first and foremost is a currency filter. This filter is used to convert a number into the currency format. You have a number and that number you have to print it like $23. Okay. So, currency format. So, for this you need this filter. When no currency format is implemented, it uses local currency format. What is that? We will see. What is the format that you have to give? So, any expression you have to write in between the flower brackets and currency expression whatever the expression or condition you wanted to give that can be given pipe symbol and the filter name filter name should be given here colon why we are giving colon here colon means uh, whatever the currency you are using that symbol can be given symbol can be given so here i wanted to print dollar dollar and fraction size size of the fraction can also be added here so, here is a small example of how the filter works. This is my HTML part where I am writing my script tag. So, script is closed here. And this is the CDN link that is copied from the source, internet sources. And here I am using one directory. Again, div, we have divided into modules. So, here different parts and this is my ng app. App name is my app. NG controller is a cost control. So, cost control is the name of my controller, NG controller. You can add. Now, what I am printing here? Price. What is this price? Say this is an expression. And here we have, sorry, this is a text. This is an expression price. And that is used by this currency. Means currency filter. Name of the filter, this one. Name of the filter. Okay. Then, in the script tag, what you are writing, var, you created some variable where your module is getting stored. What is my module? My app is my module. As this is my first and foremost root module, I am not giving any dependencies. App controller, cost control. What is cost control here? Cost control is the name of the ng controller that we have given. So, controller name, function scope. Now, what is the scope I am giving? So, price I am giving. Scope dot means this is an object. Object dot price. What is this price? So, here if you see we have given price. What is price actually? Price is the expression. Okay. Price is the expression. My expression I am giving here. So, scope dot price. What is my price? 58. Now, what should be displayed here? The currency filter format. So, a number to a currency format. So, this is the price okay colon where is my colon here is my colon here price colon what is the price 58 that 58 will be taken here okay and as this is a currency filter this is converted to currency so dollar 58.00.00 000 gives us information that it is a currency okay let us execute this I am taking this uh, complete code. Okay. Then, div part is over. I am taking the script part also. See how it is easy. When you are using this framework, where is my framework? This is your framework. When the script framework is used directly, you are not installing anything, you are not doing anything. Simply that source is added, you are writing your code and executed. So, only you are concentrating on what? Your source, this one. Okay. So, let me execute this. 
this is the price that has been displayed. Now, what is the price? How it is being displayed? That is mattered. So, price is fifty-eight rupees. Dot zero zero. We didn't give anything. We just give price as fifty-eight only. But this is being displayed because we are using a currency filter. Okay. Then date filter. Similarly, we use the date filter. and here uh, object of date should be used so this filter is used to convert a date into the specified format what is its specified format like this anything so if the date format is not specified then this is the default date format again the syntax will be same double braces then date type symbol and here date filter Colon will give you what is the format or what is the symbol like that. Here we can for currency we used to give currency symbol dollar or such things. So format will be what is the format that format you need to give colon time zone also you can give. So this is the date format. This is the date filter and this is we are talking about date and time zone. Okay. So this is the example. Same script tag with the HTML part, presentation logic, business logic, and this is my CDN link. Okay, and in the body part, what we are doing again? Ng app, my app name, ng controller. This is the controller name. We are controlling. We are using this controller to add or to manage our filters. So here today, okay, today. And that pipe symbol and date date colon. What is the format that we have given? Every format you need to give in the double quotes. D D M M D D M M Y. We have given. Okay. So this is where you are creating a module. So whatever the app name you are giving, that will be your module name. So that is the app controller. I mean module name. And controller name, where a ng controller we have given that name we are giving. These are again this is a module root node. We are uh, making this area as empty. We are not using any dependencies. And app dot controller and function scope. Okay, app dot controller we have name of the controller followed by the function scope. Now object. This is the object. Dollar scope scope dot today. What is today? This is where we are created today. So what is today? New date. New date is a object. New date will extract the current date of the particular day. Okay. So let me see this also. See how easy it is. Just a CD and link only you are taking. Apart from that, everything is like how you have done it for HTML and JavaScript. Okay. Just save this, refresh. Twelve, twelve, twenty-three. Okay, twelve date D D M M Y Y Y. Okay, date month and year. This is a default. Okay. So like this, you can work on uh, different filters and uh, you can execute. This is about the date. Only the thing is, you have to use uh, how you have to know how to use the directories, how to use a module, and here how to use a controller also. We are using the controller with the module. We are using this in the second parameter. I mean, app controller you are using, and this our second parameter will be the object. Using that object, you are displaying the things. Okay, next filter 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 is used to print the subsection means. Uh, part of the array so here it is used to filter the array object elements and return a new array what is that again same expression expression pipe symbol filter we are using here filter filter so this is the name of the filter and this is the filter criteria any condition if you wanted to give that you can give it here okay so this is the example again cdn link And H three, nothing much. We have only head part and H three. We have H three will print the text in the particular uh, font size, which is less than H two and H one. And this is where we are using the ng app, ng controller, name of the controller. UL is nothing but unordered list. 
if you remember we have discussed this in the html unordered list unordered list means like you will get bullets in the form of list a b c d this is unordered list so list can be displayed using li and ng repeat we have given x in a name and the filter is i we have to filter x should be there along with that i should be there okay and this is the expression we are giving i that is our list okay closing your list closing your unordered list coming to your script part we are taking angular dot module what is the module name app one what is your app name app one app name should be equal to your module name so no dependencies empty dependencies dot controller controller names control this is the name of the controller so where we have used it for ng controller function scope common and this object dot scope you have taken dot names okay what are the names we have to pass an array here so that array you are passing names equals to now wherever you have x in names and filter i so that should be displayed let us see and you have some paragraph uh, just we are displaying that this example displays only the names containing the letter i because you have filtered it with i right so this will be the output let me show you this also so just html body part then you have to consider what script part i mean angular js part so wherever you are started with the div and uh, ng app there your script has been started angular js script has been started then you have to give the business logic that means your angular js logic part you have to write okay let me refresh so angular js date filter how many you got 1 2 3 4 5 5 what five you got what are the names you have given 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we have given among nine array array elements we got how many only five because harbhajan is not having i suresh is not having i shehwag is not having i jadeja is not having i so wherever the elements are having i that only we are accessing here so if you see here x in names so filter what we have given i that means i should be there in names what are names there names are nothing but your array that you have created these are the names understood so this is how you will get angular uh, ds date filter with the five elements so hope you all understood uh, what are the filters that we have discussed and you will accept that angular js using those cdn links is very easy if the internet uh, service is not there don't worry you can just download and keep the zip file and make same you can use it as same just import that angular js file into the source into the script tag that will be enough hope you all understood the session in the session we have discussed about what is a filter different types of filters and what are the different types of filters the currency date and filter filter with the examples thank you all